la 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 uh. Hello everybody, so today I've actually finished version 1 of my next generator. It is a clickable mobs generator. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say clickable mobs, I will leave a link in the description of the video that is to a concept that I had a while back. I believe it was actually around 6 months ago that I made this concept. It was able to take any normal mob and uh, make it basically clickable, so when you right clicked on it, it would run a command that you set, just like on servers like Mineplex and other popular servers. So, I made a generator for that. Uh, if you actually watched the old one, you'll see that it uses like five or six entities. This one actually only uses three. But I will be changing that soon to allow for extra entities. And you'll see what I mean by that. Those extra entities will just be armor stands so that you can add multiple layers to the NPC name. So you can have something like one, one layer of the name says something like class basic for, let's say, kit PvP server. Class basic, and then right underneath it, it'll say basic kit one. And then you can have another mob with, says basic kit two, and things like that. But so right here, here's the generator so far. I haven't sent this over to my CSS guy, Scott Dash, yet. I just finished it. If you go ahead and click generate, you'll get an error saying that you need to input an NPC ID. And that is right here. This uh, Each one of these has basic information about what each of them does. So mob ID is the type of mob. So if I actually go ahead and enter something random, then as you can see, it'll default to a zombie with the name NPC minimum distance of three. I believe it was minimum distance. Yeah, minimum distance of three. And the command is something like say NPC clicked. But so I'm just going to go ahead and set this to NPC1. It can be anything you want. A mob ID of, let's go with Blaze. Uh, mm, fireman, because why not? Minimum distance, let's set it to 2. Command executed. Now this will be the command that is executed upon a right click. So if we go ahead and set it to something like give at p stone, as it is in the example, this will, it will not execute from the NPC itself. So if there's two people standing within the radius and you right click, but there's someone closer to it, then it will still give you the stone and not the person closer. It'll actually execute the command based on the player. So if we generate this, it'll say done. Now we can go ahead and copy this and come over into here. And I'll explain what this is in a second because that's actually something important. We can go ahead and paste this and power it. And here is the structure. So right here, if you look in here, you'll get a spawn egg for a rabbit that is named whatever the name of the NPC is and then NPC spawn egg. So now if we go ahead and just right click with this anywhere, there is the NPC. If we stand, let's stand over here stand all the way over here as you can see nothing happens but if we get within the radius and we right click then we will get the stone so it works on all sides all corners and if we that's basically how this one works one downside to it is that you can only input one command right now I plan on adding multi command functionality so you can have multiple commands that are executed uh, on a right click but for now, you have to use this workaround. So you would have to do scoreboard, players, set, and then whatever the score is. For this example, I named it example. So set, oops, at p, example one. Let's go make this a pig zombie NPC two, because if we had it set to NPC one, then it would fire the NPC one commands. Let's name this basic kit, and you'll see why. Uh, radius of 2 is fine. Let's go ahead and click generate, copy, come over into here, paste, and power. Here is the spawn egg. So now if we 
place this right here. If we right click him, as you can see, we get both the sword and the tell raw. And that is from this. So right here, this is just an empty always powered repeat command block. This gives all players who have an example score minimum of one an iron sword. Uh, this does a tell raw to all of them. And then these are all just blank. And then this sets their score to zero. So that's how you can make it run extra commands like that. But as I said, in the future, I will be adding multi-command functionality. Okay, so that's basically uh, how it all works. Like I said, the generator will be changing soon. It'll have a new layout. Uh, I'll have more options, things like that. So it'll be a lot better. Right now, the name doesn't actually support uh, formatting codes. But again, I will be changing that very soon. Uh, this has been going on for around 10 minutes now, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop it here. I hope you guys enjoy the generator, and goodbye. Everybody's wrong, rewrote the song. Thoughts become action, tell me what's happening. Wish your mind wrapped in, wrapped around, wrapped, wrapped around, wrapped, wrapped.